Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this video I'm going to show you how to access and use the activity dashboard. Now you can find this in Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides and Google Drawings. Now I'm going to demonstrate it today from a Google Doc but it works exactly the same in the other tools as well. So here I am in a Google Doc and this has been shared with a few other people in my organisation. So I'm going to come up to Tools and then go down to Activity Dashboard. Now this will let me see who has actually viewed the document. So if I wanted to see what they'd done with the document, I would use the version history, which there's another video about that, but this is actually showing viewers. So you'll see there that both myself and Lucinda have accessed this document and viewed it within the last hour. Now the other three people that I've shared it with are shown with dashes. So that could indicate that they've either not viewed it or that perhaps they've restricted their privacy settings and I'm going to show you that in a moment. So this is on the shared with tab with the all viewers and then the name of your organization tab that would show if other people within your organization who you haven't directly shared the file with but who might have access because of the other visibility settings of the file have opened it. And we can also see a trend so we can see who opened and when um, so you can see um, which time period was the most popular and that kind of thing. Now I'm going to go back to the shared with because as I mentioned we've got some of these people here with the dashes. So what I can do if I go down to the privacy settings I'm going to show you the other reason why this could occur. So each person has the ability to essentially opt out of being shown in the activity dashboard. So you can see here I'm opted in. <laughs> so I've actually got it set that my viewing history is going to be shown for all doc sheets and slides files. Okay, it's also for drawings as well, just so you know. So, but if I'd untoggled that, then you wouldn't actually see my view history. So that dash would be there regardless of whether I viewed it or not. I can also toggle this on and off for a specific document. So I might want it on by default, but off for one particular document. So if you want to adjust your settings, you can do it there. However, I encourage you to leave it as is because it's really good for other people in the organization to be able to get an idea of who's been viewing the documents so that if they need to follow up with people they can. If they did want to follow up there's a handy email option you can do here to email people as well. So you, there you go that's the activity dashboard through Google Docs and as I mentioned it does work the same in sheets, slides and drawings too. So thanks for watching.